Hey everybody, it's Lenny Random here again. I'm getting ready to do another tutorial video of another Minecraft survival house. Uh, this one right here, actually. And uh, yeah, it's a it's definitely a very Viking inspired build, and I want it to be be taking place in the Taiga biome. Like I like I said before, I'm planning on trying to do a survival a tutorial house in every biome as possible so my goal is to use the materials that you could find in that biome and uh, this one is definitely very sprucey <laughs> you can say so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it okay to start with this is our palette here actually the whole thing was for the most part made out of spruce wood so this is it of course, besides me, like uh, spruce trap doors, spruce fence gates, um, stuff like that, um, it's all predominantly made out of spruce. So with that, here is the layout. I'll go ahead and get up here so you have a good, good shot of it. And uh, maybe if I remember correctly, I'll put it in post the uh, the measurements of each and every single one of those. But that's that's it. That's you know. Uh, a good idea if you need to pause and count and so forth uh, you can and like I said hopefully I'll actually put the numbers in myself but uh, yeah there we go the brown and green is where the porch is gonna be and the green and white is the main building alright so to start with uh, once again start with spruce logs I'm gonna start with this one here in the front we're gonna go up six logs one two Another one, two, three, four, five, and six. And these are all going to go up six. And these four corners. And six. Two, three, four, five, six. Right. Uh, the reason being, we'll go ahead and do this part, is this corner is going up two. And that is where our porch is going to be, and our floor is going to be. And so you would get crossed by two that way. I'm going to go ahead and just nail these across that. And there's that part there. I'm going to go ahead and actually still go ahead and do all the way around the border here and just get a figure out where our floor is okay so now we have this here we're gonna go ahead and put one more up top on one of these corners and build across to build the upper frame and just go ahead and build all the way uh, around the square here I always like to build the frame first just to get an idea of what I'm building we forgot about including this part. It's basically the same thing. I like having that there just to make it look okay. We'll go that way. Add it across here. And we'll go ahead and add the porch on this side as well. just to make sure that's we know where that is we'll make that go across uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing with here with the support beams uh, but first let's go ahead and point with what this one's gonna look like so here we're actually gonna go up only three so only three blocks high and then across and that's where that beam is gonna be and it's the same is going to be on this side. All right, and there you go. There's the basic frame, uh, but we we're not quite done with the frame yet. Let's go ahead and also add the frame uh, for the roof, uh, at least for this middle one here. So in the middle, see here you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So on the fifth one, one, two, three, four, five. Here we're going to go up seven blocks. One, two. 
eight, four, five, six, seven. And that is where this one should be. Um, but before that, let me go ahead and just like add it in. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this too. I don't think it is here for a long. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, the porch. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a half slab across here, a spruce. Just to get the basic uh, porch there. And for the floor here as well, we're gonna go ahead and for now put smooth stone. But we will eventually uh, break this up and include different kinds of stone. This is really the only place that's going to have stone. Um, is the flooring. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and start on the roof. Uh, after building the frame, I always like to go ahead and start building the roof just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, so, starting from this corner here, we're going to go ahead and place uh, one piece of stair, like normal. Actually, let's go ahead and put it down here. Uh, one below uh, this log here. And go ahead and make it stick out. And then we're going to do an upside down stair. Grab your spruce plank wood for the whole block. Then another stair. And we're just going to do this pattern over and over again. Till we reach the very top. Uh, till we get to the not where that long is. And it should theoretically match up with this log. Let me stick that out so I can. And yeah, like that. And there's your basic template. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for this side and the same thing on this side. And once we get that, we'll go ahead and work on that one. Alright, so to go from here, we're going to go ahead and stretch around. So, and the only problem here is we're going to get rid of this. Let's go ahead and just do, because we're going to add one more downward stair. Cross. That's why we build this, and eventually we're going to get rid of that, but for now, that's fine. Now, finally, we'll get to the side, we can go ahead and start making the same pattern and figuring out exactly where that middle is going to lie. Bam. Then we can do the same thing on this side, just go ahead and pop down here the bottom. And we'll go ahead and just line this up. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and just go wrap this around too. Downward stair, all the way across. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and go across this way. Even though we're going to probably change it for this roof. But I don't want to quite build this roof just yet. Let me go ahead and add the rest of the roof in. Uh, here. So we'll figure that out eventually. Now, for the rest of this roof, instead of using any kind of stair, we're going to use spruce logs. Uh, in fact, we're going to use normal spruce log and then we're going to use stripped spruce log interchangeably um, as you go up. So we're going to get rid of that one. And plop that down. So this one can be a good starter here. Uh, and then the next one up we'll go ahead and use the stripped Followed by the normal spruce log. 
and it's probably gonna stack on top of each other like this because we're trying to fit across the stairs here we go and you're just doing this all the way up I'm just gonna show this side real quick then with here And I think I'm gonna change this top one to be a stripped spruce log. Same thing I'm gonna do the other side as well. Oops. And I think that'll go along well with the uh, trim. Like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. And you're gonna do the same thing for this area as well as it connects into this and that should all look uh, good and I'll do that real quick it'll be back in just a second okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get a roof uh, over this small part uh, on the side it's a little side room here and to do so if you haven't done so far or haven't done it yet uh, go ahead and put this upside down stair a uh, little overhang across all of the roofs of the hanging roofs here as you can see I went ahead and did it uh, and then and we will probably get rid of some of these here. I'm not sure yet. I can't remember exactly uh, But from here go ahead and put a Stair like that on that side right there and Then from there we're gonna do an upside down stair facing the front Like so and then go ahead and just Line it up right about, I think right about there is where it was. Um, to make sure I know what I'm doing here, let's go ahead and put a, 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 a spruce slab right across from this stair here. And then, yeah, there's a couple upside down stairs there. And then from here, we're going to have a normal size stair going that direction. And it's going to come down. Okay, so I went ahead and copied the same thing from this side over here. So this should be matching across. And I'll go ahead and get your logs. I also went ahead and got rid of the underhang upside down stair that went across here. And we're actually going to go ahead and get rid of this row too. As well. Now I want you to just strip log. Oops. Going across this stair. So you, you leave, you cut all of them out except the tip, the trim on both sides. So you're not getting rid of the trim. And then the next stair down, put a null log across. And just kind of take turns back and forth. Like so, following down the path. Okay. All right. So it should look like something like that for now. Now, um, it's kind of plain. It's not quite where we want it to be. This entire roof. So we're gonna detail the roof a bit. And to do this, all you need yeah, cut that part out. All right, and to detail the roof here, and all you need is you're gonna need some spruce stairs, some spruce slabs, and some spruce trap doors. Now, first off, let's go ahead and detail the ends here. This should actually be sticking out by one on both sides, and over here as well. And then to detail a bit, we're gonna do an upside down stair on the end. Go ahead and put a temporary block there, and do another upside down. Upside down stair there. Get rid of that. It looks should look something similar to this. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and put another. Uh, actually, we're gonna leave it that way. And then we're gonna do a mm, half slab across there. And we can go ahead and put trap doors on both sides of this. And you can do whatever you want for this. Like, this is just what I came up with. 
and we're going to do the same thing on all sides. So once again, same thing over here, upside down stair. And actually, you can go ahead and just put a half slab there, but I don't think it might. I don't know if you could pull it off. No, you can't. It, you, you need something that's a full block almost to be able to put down the upside down stair there. Oops. Then go ahead and put the half slab back there, trap doors. Okay. And I'll do the other one here in a minute, but let me go ahead and just do the rest of this roof here. So across this top here, we're going to place a uh, pattern of half slabs and trap doors. So for every other block, like this, is going to be a half slab. And then every other block that's left open, we're going to place some trap doors. So it kind of gives that extra depth texture to the build. And we're going to do the same thing all the way down. Uh, except for this one. This one we're actually going to do a little bit differently. We'll skip that for now. But we're basically just going to copy the exact same thing. And we're just going to Follow it down like so. And trap doors. Trap doors. When you get to this point, you can easily just kind of go across and still do that pattern. Actually, that's not going to work. It's going to have to go. Well, actually, it will work. Because if you do this, and if you go across that way, and you do your normal thing there, then it should still match up perfectly. Yep. Just like that. And go ahead and trap doors. Cool. And it's basically the same thing all the way down on this side and all the way down on these two here as well. But for this one, we're actually going to put uh, stairs. Similar to the stair here, we're going to put a stair on every other one. And then go ahead and put trap doors. Alright. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of these, like so. And except for this part, this part's going to be a little bit different. But go ahead and get to about uh, this part here, and then we'll do the rest. Okay, so as you can see here, we've finished up the roofs, roofs uh, like so. And now we're going to go ahead and start on this detailing this part of the roof. Uh, to do so, we're going to go ahead and do something similar uh, we did up here with the stairs. And just place every other one like underneath the trap doors from this one, uh, like so. We're going to do the same thing on all of these full, not stripped logs. Like that. And just go ahead and put trap doors in between. Oop. And then from here, actually, you're going to need some campfires. And uh, we're going to go from the side here and place camp bars all along the tops of these as well. And we're even going to put one across. Oops. That, like so. And no, we're not going to leave it that way. Just going to splash them off a bit. Alright, now that we've finished this uh, little roof here, uh, and I don't think I recorded this, but I went ahead and put trap doors underneath this overhang. Just to kind of get rid of the uh, grayish block ashes underneath the campfires. And uh, brought this half slab on the side to I'll leave the trim out a bit. And that gives you that finishing edge right there. I also went ahead and added these little finishing touches. You don't have to do this, but I think it adds a lot of texture, a lot of more character to the build by adding a grindstone upside down and then a little lantern underneath that. And I went ahead and did that on all three of them. 
Now all we really got left is uh, the walls really and uh, finishing up this porch and we'll go ahead with the walls first. Um, the easiest way I think I'm going to do this is go ahead and just place uh, all wooden planks down first and you kind of want a spot here uh, on the third one across for the door and we'll just actually you know what I <laughs> you want to push it in a little bit you don't and this is something you may not want to do this is completely up to you but I think it has a little more depth uh, to the build and really kind of like sticks out uh, these logs a bit if you want to come inside and do it now this will definitely make the inner area a little bit smaller but I once again I think I think it'll be it's worth it to give it an extra outside look all right I think right about here is where the window is going to be and we'll go ahead and add a little more detail by adding some stairs and just go ahead and do it on all of them over here I think the doors is going to be right in the middle now except for these signs I don't really uh, bring them back once. I only do it for the uh, only for like the front of the doorways or in front of these here. So like this will be caved, carved in here. And I know that seems really weird. Okay, now that you have all the walls placed in, we're gonna kind of shape it up a bit by adding some logs every once in a while here just kind of plant them and you can put them in any direction like so I'm just gonna go ahead and put like a few across here and here however many you really want to place it's completely up to you okay that's about what I'm gonna do I think right there Actually, let me go ahead and get rid of like that one in place. Put that back in there. And place this one with the log. There we go. And we'll do the same thing up here. And you're just doing this on all of them. All the walls. Just kind of give it a nice little texture. Just kind of basically breaks it up a bit. And I think maybe like a couple here might useful yeah okay and so you can go ahead and do that on all the walls uh, and for this front here though I'm gonna go ahead and place instead of glass we're just gonna go ahead and put a couple uh, gate uh, fence gates right there not fence gates but actually just spruce fences across all right what else you can do to kind of make this look nicer a bit, I think, is we're going to give this these uh, support beams a little more structure. So to make them look like they're a little more secure, I'm going to put trap doors around the base like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on the corners here too. Like so. And you can even do it up here on top, on the very end, basically on all the ends of the support beams. I think will make it look. Is that not there? Apparently, that's not all the way up. There's a log there in the way or something. Hmm. Should put another one there. Yeah, that'll look okay. Alright, and then if you get a wooden button, in this case a spruce wooden button, whatever, why not? We're, we're using the spruce theme. You could go ahead and place one every here, 
across and one like that and this once again you're just adding more and more detail uh, to the build now for this doorway at entrance I think you can go ahead and do something like that and then actually go ahead and do one more up here like so do a upside down stair and then this across and then you can put a light there and then of course if we add a door first door there we go and just place it in like so um, for the porch I'm actually going to go ahead and put some barrels on the ends like so and place fence gates across and we'll leave it a uh, three block wide space here for the stairway I'm actually gonna go ahead and do it like eh, we can just go ahead and do it like this and actually down here I'm gonna do it put some fence gates like that I don't know if that will Eh, I don't like that too much. This I'm kind of swinging on the spot here. That'll work. And there you go. There's your front porch. And I'm actually going to be thinking of getting rid of this. And then placing your normal plant, uh, blocks across like that. And you can even texturize this a bit too if you want to. basically do the same thing on all of them um, you can even like plan the windows here if you want to uh, just anything like that just to finish up all the signs um, adding texture I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back okay so I went ahead and did everything else I added the I actually added some trap doors on the side of the staircase here so they give it a little more I just like almost like little railings and do the same thing over here as you can see went ahead and added some uh, railings here and so forth. The thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to place trap doors on the top of these two just to cover up the top of these barrels. And there we go. And what I also realized up here is instead of having a trap door on both, I just placed an upside down stair and then a couple of uh, planks here uh, to just cover that up so it kind of like comes down a little bit like it starts here and comes all the way through and did it to all of these as well and from there I think just about done with the exterior actually and I may what I may actually do here is like pop in a window in one of these spots maybe I might remove that later but uh, I think that is it that's it for the exterior and uh, now again yeah, we just gotta work on the interior and, uh, and play around with it so uh, we'll work on that and see what happens alright finally I have finished the interior and kinda threw some trees and kinda give an atmosphere as best I possibly can and uh, let's go ahead and get this bad boy uh, a tour. Tour, yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely not my best interior, but uh, let's check it out nonetheless. So you come up to the front door here, and uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a mess, but you know it, it does the trick. Uh, you have kind of like a tool uh, workstation slash kitchen, I guess, kind of. You know, your crafting bench. You have your uh, your water bale there. You get your grindstone. Your anvil and your stone cutter all in one place and uh, you have a little table here island with a little plate there uh, 
brewer stand here. Uh, place to put some armor, a little chest, you know, whatever. Got get the whole thing shebang, little plants, little little sea pickles, etc. And uh, oh yeah, we got some white banners up there, just kind of acting like you know maybe like throwing towels over the side or drying some some uh, some clothes or whatever, you know. Uh, come in the room here. You have your little storage. You have some uh, good amount of stuff, barrels on this side, acting as like a wall. And then over here you have a bunch of chests. Uh, even these can open up. I try to I cut out some of the wood up top here, uh, just to make sure you open these top chests, uh, so that you get as many much storage as you possibly can. You probably could put, uh, you know, actually what I want to do. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. But I do want to put maybe like a lantern. There we go. Just some light down here. Uh, but yeah, that's this is the storage. You know, it's pretty basic. Uh, nothing too crazy. And uh, yeah, this ladder here takes you up to the bedroom. Uh, nothing too crazy up here. You have some bookshelves. You have some potted plants. You know, hang on some shelves. Uh, nice little balcony here. You can kind of overlook a little bit. Not really too much, I guess. But you know, and a bit on bed with some carpet. You know. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty, I, I carved out some of the wood so we put some stairs in there to make it a little like it's been kind of like all decaying wall and so forth. And you could probably put some pictures up here or something if you want to. Uh, give it a little more. Come back down. And then, uh, yeah, that's the main part. Now we got this door here. This is, uh. Now, yeah, since I wanted to make this very, um. I don't know, Viking-esque, whatever, and I was looking up concept art, like what the interior would look like, and stuff like that, and they always had like this fireplace in the middle of the room, and I wasn't sure what to do with this side room, I was like, you know, this would be a good place to do one of those kind of fireplaces in the middle, so I have the fireplace, you can cut off the top so that we, you know, uh, smoke can get out, uh, of, vent out of the, uh, the house here. And uh, you can even cook in here. I put a couple smokers on the corners here, and a couple of furnaces, so you can just go in here and slap and you start cooking some stuff. Uh, like you're, you know, this is the place to cook and hang out and get warm. And of course, this just takes you outside. Beautiful, pretty place outside. Yeah, that is uh, that is everything. That is the entire place, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, it's uh. It took a lot of work, but I think it turned out really well. Um, if you enjoyed this kind of stuff, you want to see me do more tutorials uh, of this kind of style, or if you want me to do like uh, different kind of style you suggestions, uh, if you want to show off some better interior than mine, which I'm sure you can, because like I said, I'm not, I'm not the best interior designer on this kind of stuff in Minecraft yet. Uh, but yeah, send it my way. I I would love to see your ideas and suggestions. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for me today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next time, or next video, something like that. I'm terrible at outros. Uh, uh bye. <laughs>